the, this session will be dedicated to practical issues of the respiratory protection. And we'll see what kind of respirator we can use. We'll check are they effective and we'll just do the simple fit test kit. Everybody understands the difference between procedure or medical or surgical mask and respirator. So respirator is effective filter. When we attach filter in our car, we effectively put it hermetically, very tight. So respirators like car filter should be very well fitted on our face without any leakage of unfiltered dangerous air into other into our lungs. So to avoid airborne pathogens. It means surgical mask is a physical barrier. It stops dro uh, droplets from our uh, person we speak with from the source and also it redirects air, exhaled air from the infectious patients patient to behind, not to create high concentration in face of the other person. So we saw dependence of the risk with the concentration. If we risk, if we breathe high concentration of air, which directly goes into our breathing zone from the infectious patients, it's highly dangerous. So mask, just surgical mask, redirects that air back and reduce the risk by 50%, it's effective. But it's not enough, 50% is not enough. In high risk areas, we need to use respirator, okay? You have respirators, just take one here in the boxes. So the market is very extensive. We can see respirators made in probably South Africa, in US and China and Europe and Russia. And there are models, foldable like this one, and not foldable like this cap size, uh, cap shaped, yeah? With exhalation valve and without exhalation valve, yeah? And uh, you can see also these two models. One is FFP2 for Europe, and another one is N95 for US and other countries. Absolutely the same. So manufacturer just stamps. And both the standards are very similar. FFP2 in Europe equal to N95. So FFP same thing for different markets. You see, it's, it's the same. Just stamp, stamp, stamp differently. And, uh, and FFP3 equal to N99 in US standards. You probably use US. N95s, so it's NIOSH standards, standard. What, what's about exhalation valve? Why, why is it there? What is it for? Is it for protection? Just for comfort. And actually it's increase the risk of transmission. If person who wears respirator with the exhalation valve can contaminate air, by this filter. So we had a case when the nurse was collecting some uh, uh, swabs from my staff. And we got several cases in one day. And we started to analyze. All the stuff, we had no, no clinical manifestations. But the nurse who was collecting with the exhalation, she had symptoms. She tested positive. So he, she exhaled particles for this filter contaminated webs. So it means during a high uh, incidence among staff or in population, exhalation valve should not be used. It's much safer to use respirators without, the, without like this one. So for, for COVID times, when the incidence among staff is high, no valve, just comfort, not, not any risk reduction. Okay, when we work in TB, out of the pandemic times, in TB facilities with TB patients, risk of the TB among staff is low, so it's acceptable. But during the rise of the incidence 
of airborne pathogens or droplet pathogens, exhalation valve can actually promote transmission from staff member to others. Okay. You can choose any any model. Uh, I'd like to see. Okay. So let's see what's what's shown. Tell us, please. When we take respirator, let's let's see what's what's on it. Does it comply with the standard? Okay. What can you read on the respirator? Um, it's the Noish N95. And this is standard? Yeah. For healthcare particulate respirator in such compounds. Proper respirator use where uh, wearer must be trained and comply with the instructions of the box. Assistance Let's see. So standard is shown. What about model? It's the B22006. Yeah. I would go to CDC website and check. Is it listed? Is it approved by CDC? To make sure. It's easy. And again, is there instruction on the box? No, it's just uh, advertising. It's donning instruction. And com it complies with the standard. Every certified respirator has to have instruction on the package. Yeah. And also they include this sheet and they also describe the donning instruction. So let is there wealth? No wealth. No wealth. Yeah. So N95 uh, provides a maximal leakage of 5%, 95% is filtered, 5% theoretically can go unfiltered. Through the, not filter, but through leakage at this space close to our skin, okay? So there's some, some problems maybe with the bird some, sometimes, and it's actually high risk. Uh, so what should we do if the staff member has a large bird? Can they use this kind of respirators? There is no good fit, yeah? Lots of leakage through the bird because there is no uh, good fit. So there are positive pressure, quite expensive respirator. It's high hood, air, uh, HEPA filter, fan, and positive pressure is created under the hood. And battery, so it's heavy. At the 7th South African TB Conference in Durban, ETTI presented Airborne IPC Workshop. All lectures and exercises can be found on the ETTI website.